million YouTubers on Spongebob 101, back here again on the Spongebob channel with our Spongebob Comics issue 46 review video. Alright, so, um, yeah, kind of delayed this, uh, about two weeks, um, I just picked this up on, uh, July 24th, that was a Friday, I'm recording this on Sunday, July 26th, and this should go up, um, the day after that. Alright, so, um... As you can see, this issue doesn't have a title on the front, but it features the Mola Mola. So, yes, yeah, this giant fish here. And um, it also um, encompasses the title story of the um, uh, comic. I mean, this issue. So, without further ado, let's give you a better look at the uh, cover there. So, there you go. And now for the ever-changing um, intro page here. So, Mola Mola Madness. Hope you guys can see it. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to read that today. But, yeah, SpongeBob Comics 46 featuring the adventures of SpongeBob SquarePants and his aquatic friends. Printed in BC, Quebec, Canada. July, uh, June, yeah, June 22nd. So, The Menace of the Mola Mola by Bob Flynn. So, um, like, while I go through this, I must say that this issue was a very cool one. Especially, uh, this, um, title comic. Um, I really, really like the art here. Um, it was, it's really, really nice, actually. Um, and, um, the story was also very interesting, you know. Um, the first time I read it, um, you know, I really was... I don't know, I mean, I just liked it a lot. So, basically what happens is the Mola Mola blocks out the sun um, in Bikini Bottom. And, um, uh, yeah, there it is, the Mola Mola. And, um, yeah. This is blocking satellites, Larry can't get his tan, flowers are, plants are dying, they don't know when to sleep. And, um, yeah, so, people just really, really rely on the sun a lot. So, any volunteers, and, of course, Spongebob will do it. And look at that, I mean, just look at that, Spongebob. There, that, there be the Mola Mola. So, um, yeah, basically, I mean, I'll give my rating at the, okay, I'll just give my rating now while we go through this. So, out of five, I give this a 4.5, you know, one of the best, um, Spongebob comic strips, um, that has been published in Spongebob comics thus far, um, because, you know, everything is just great. I mean, I really can't find any flaws here, uh, but, you know. A uh, five would be a, a uh, I mean, like, it's not like I would give anything a zero, so I can't give anything a five either. So, yeah. I mean, of course, um, may not be extremely interesting to some, but, you know, I really like this. I mean, look at this part. I mean, it's just going through the Mola Mola, and the sleeping beast lurks ahead. So, yeah, look at that. Look how small SpongeBob is. And, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with the camera today, it's supposed to focus, but it's not, um, focusing very well. Beard. The beard, save me from this mangy beard. Oh no, you don't cut it out, and chop, and I'm free, I feel 82 again. Thanks for the trim, gave him the old one too, did you? What's your, what's your name, kid? So I'm Spongebob, I think I'm lost. So, yeah. Try not to let too much digestive juice get on you. Get on you. And bring in the net so you've got something. So, yeah, look at Spongebob there. So cute. This sure is a funny looking one. Yes, quite a jelly specimen. I'm not a jellyfish. We're all jelly in the sea of jelly. Welcome to the Wrath of the Medusa. Now you get used to it. 
So yeah, that's just weird. Incoming transmission. Hey, <laughs> look at that. What is he doing? Speaking of the Mola Mola, of course, getting the latest jelly report. Crash. <laughs> Maybe I can speak to the Mola Mola too. He wants to stand there. Look at that. And oh no, you don't. Hold on, kid. Yahoo. I'm not well. Now that I've seen everything, a jelly he can fly. What did he say his name was? I don't know. More jelly, anyone? Okay, so, yeah, I saw a heart and a Krabby Patty. I do love Krabby Patties. You sound as loopy as those jelly crazed fishermen. Anyways, thanks for the lift. Stay back, both of you. I'm the guardian of the heart. Wait, Grandpa, is that you? You're back. Wow. So, a mola quake. So yeah, they actually have a city in the Mola Mola. Maybe I can chirp the Mola Mola. Who knows, right? So yeah. So hook them up and... One, two... Three, and yeah. Pop. What took you so long? Yeah, so... I'm just gonna go through this. So basically that's the background of Mola Mola. But maybe I can make something small into something big for you. So yep, it goes all the way back to... Citizens of Bikini about have lend me your crayons. So yeah, look at that. So there's a... Ba these are baby fish and a baby anchovy. Anchovy and, yeah, plankton. Isn't that cute? Yeah, okay, it's very cute. Alright, so uh, melting the crayons into one giant... on Into one mola mola sized super crayon. There you go, fly over to that cliff. And yeah, couldn't have drawn it better myself. This is a bad spot. See, you're not big after all is done. Sit after all is said and done. A little more beard, and he's back. Did you get a saliva sample? It's a pinata. Patrick says that. A fatty farewell. Hey, my phone worked again. They sent us a message. They can get reception in there. The heart must be working again. That mola mola is one swell guy. Hmm, there's just one problem. Vandalism. The end. Mola mola was here. Next up we have Floatsome and Jetsum. Uh, the Mola Mola by Maris Wicks. Ocean Facts. So yeah, the Mola Mola is a real fish and a pre pretty weird looking one. And, and by the way, um, in literally of uh, five of the six panels here, it says Mola Mola. So yeah. And uh, there, Mola Mola. Mola Mola. Mola Mola. And no Mola Mola. Because this one doesn't have the Mola Mola in it. Mola Mola. So isn't that cute? With apologies to the orange fowlfish. Okay, so next up um, we have Spongebob in Shrinktopia. I'll just turn this around so you can see better. Story and pictures by Jan Alexander. So this one just uh, speed through. Uh, for the Floatsome and Jetsome Ocean Facts, I think that was a pretty cool one. And pretty cute as well. So I'll give it a 4 out of 5. So Roto is a type of rotter for a type of zooplankton. So it's basically playing with a plankton. Hey, tag a plankton. Plankton. So yeah, he actually enlarged the roto as well. Roto. All right. Next, um, we have Pet Shop Surprise by Cheris Mercil Harper. Apologies if I pronounced the, the name wrong, but yeah, really cool. Um, for the previous one, uh, also four out of five. So I'll just skip through this. Um, in fact, this video might just 
be 12 minutes for once. Okay, maybe 13. But yeah, shorter than a average SpongeBob comic uh, video. Because long videos aren't very good, you know, for you guys especially. And for me, because like, you know, rendering takes some time. And a recording also takes some time, so. Hey, get your own net. My sandwich. Your yeah, toilet paper on my foot. There. Huh. I can't believe I fell for that again. So, yeah. I'm off to the pet store. And guess what? So, yeah. Pet store. Hey, Sponge. Hi, SpongeBob. Meet little Gary. Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah, okay, so Patrick is that ignorant to believe that the broom is a pet, and you know, he's just being part of free labor. So, slime, but little Gary gets to go first. So, get it? I mean, like, uh, you clean up, but you know, Gary makes the dirt again. And lastly, we have Sponge Funnies by Kochalka. First up, expensive tastes. So, we gotta find some way to save money around here, but then what will we use to fuel the oven? These burn money. Next, um, easy peasy chair. Stop burning my money. Come down, take it easy. I'm completely calm. Relax, sit down in a comfy chair. There, isn't that better? Ooh, the, this feels like a million bucks. It should, it's stuff with shredded money. <laughs> my money. Okay, he's breaded. Deep fried and angry. So basically, we have the fish stick cometh issue 47. It's thawing out this August. And um, the last one, uh, which you might have seen on our Instagram if you aren't followed yet, go check it out. Link is in the description box below. So we have this really cool back cover art of the Mola Mola uh, with different designs and the Sponge of Mola. The sponge mola. That's what I call it, okay? So, um, for that, uh, Sponge Funnies, 4 out of 5 as well, and the back cover, 5 out of 5. I mean, that is, I mean, judging by the artwork, you know. Uh, okay, really, not 5 out of 5, because it could use a little bit more color, but, you know, 4, point, four out of 5 will be good. So, overall, I think, um, SpongeBob Comics 46 deserves a 4 out of 5 at least. Um, at least, uh, but, you know, the best rating I could give, unlike other videos, which I usually give the worst rating, uh, this one, the best rating I'll give it is a 4.5, and, um, you know, the more general rating would be 4 out of 5. So, uh, make sure to pick up Spongebob Comics 46 from your local comic store if you haven't already. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. And check out our uh, check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more SpongeBob randomness. Keep it right here on Auto One SpongeBob One Hundred and One. I'll see you guys next time with a video that probably I haven't even made yet. So yeah, see you guys next time. Uh, if you have any uh, videos that you'd like to see us do in the future, I'll post them in the comments box below. We'll get back to you. All right. So um, yeah, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video here on the SpongeBob channel. Bye. Thank you.